a lot of you are excited tonight about the uh, parties and events that are going on with the new year. But one Liberty Hill mother is hoping you think about how you're going to get home tonight after she almost died back in 2004. We want to warn you, though, some of the photos in this next story are a bit graphic. We all know drinking and driving don't mix, but do we always remember what it looks like when they do? We were driving home from a spring, just swimming, a bunch of teenagers swimming. It broke the orbital bone, forgot the names of the other bones, but here got broken, here got broken, my teeth got broken, they fixed the teeth. This is Veronica Hawk. In 2004, she and some friends were rear-ended by a drunk driver, which is why she wants people to realize there are other options to get home. Drunk driving can stop. It does not have to continue with these apps nowadays. I'm, I think what gets me the biggest thing is if I would have died back in 2004 as a teenager, I never would have had the four kids and with the fifth on the way. I hope somebody sees this and I hope somebody thinks of a plan B to get home and a plan C. She's hoping no one else has to go through what she went through and pleading everyone finds a safe way home tonight. I don't want... I want everyone to remember, you don't have to be a bad person to drink and drive. You don't have to have a criminal record to drink and drive. You don't even have to have the intention and you may not know you're drunk. But if you have any doubt in your mind, don't drive. Now there are apps like Uber and Lyft that you can use, but there's even more options. Cap Metro is giving free rides to everyone till the end of the night tonight, and AAA also has their tipsy tow service. You don't even have to be a AAA member to take advantage of that. But there are, of course, other options. And we just hope whatever you choose, you choose one that's safe tonight. In the studio, Hank Kevin Arrow, KVU News.